हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कंपास सर्विंग नाउ चेन सर्विंग इज यूज्ड वेयर एरिया अंडर सर्वे इज रिलेटिवली स्मॉल एंड प्लेन एंड सफिशिएंट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द फील्ड कैन बी कलेक्टेड बाय लीनियर मेजरमेंट एंड परपेंडिकुलर ऑफसेट्स ओनली इट मींस दैट when the area under survey is relatively small and plain then sufficient information about the field can be collected only by the linear measurements as well as by perpendicular offsets only but when area under survey is large and is not plain then chain surveying alone is not sufficient in this case the angles between survey lines are also calculated with some angle measuring instruments and the method is known as compass surveying it means that when the area under survey is very large and is not plain then chain surveying alone is not sufficient we have to do the compass surveying of that area and we have to find the angles between the survey lines so that sufficient information about the area can be obtained that's why with the help of chain surveying and compass surveying we can completely get the information about this area now the angle measurement in surveying is done by two types first one is determination of angle between two lines it means that we have to identify the angles between two survey line that is this angle and it can be done with the help of theodolite or with the help of sextant here is a theodolite shown in this figure and a sextant is shown in this figure now if we want to measure the angle between these two lines then we have to keep this face of sextant on this survey line and by slowly moving this portion towards next survey line we can identify this angle so with the help of theodolite and sextant we can easily determine the angle between two survey lines now the next angle measurement technique is determination of direction of any line it means that now we have to determine the direction of any line with reference to some fixed coordinate direction that is from north or from south we generally measure from the north now this angle theta 1 and this angle theta 2 is known as direction of that survey line and it can be identified by prismatic compass or surveyor's compass now we will see in detail the prismatic compass and the surveyor's compass in our next lecture that is all about the introduction of compass surveying thank you very much students